second grade module 7 lesson 12 homework solve word problems involving different ways to make change from one dollar number one solve using the arrow weight a number bond or a tape diagram Kevin had 100 cents he spent three dimes three nickels and four pennies on a balloon how much money does he have left well I'm going to use all three ways first of all I know that Kevin had a total of 100 cents which is the same as one dollar he spent three dimes three nickels and four pennies on a balloon that that totals 30 cents plus 15 cents plus 4 cents I'll decompose my 15 30 plus 10 is 40 plus 5 is 45 plus 4 more is 49 cents so I know that he spent 49 cents on a balloon but I'm trying to figure out how much he has left when using a number bond I know my total is one dollar I know that he spent 49 cents on a balloon but I'm trying to figure out what that other part is to equal to my one dollar in order to do that I'm going to subtract 100 cents minus 49 cents 100 minus 40 will leave me with 60 minus 9 more is 51. Kevin has 51 cents left. Number two, Colin bought a postcard for 45 cents. 46 cents left. Number two, Colin bought a postcard for 45 cents. He gave the cashier one dollar. How much change did he receive? Well, I know that Colin gave the cashier one dollar. He bought a postcard for 45 cents. Try to figure out how much change he received from the cashier. Using a number bond, again I know he has a total of one dollar. One part is 45 cents. But I don't know as of yet what that other part is. So I'm going to subtract 100 cents minus 45 cents. 100 minus 40 will leave me with 60. Minus 5 more will leave me with 55. Colin received. 55 cents in change. Number three, Eileen spent 75 cents of her dollar at the market. How much money does she have left? Well, when drawing a tape diagram, I know that Eileen starts with one dollar but she spends 75 cents at the market. I need to figure out how much she has left. When drawing a number bond, my whole would be one dollar. One part would be 75 cents, and I would have to figure out what the other part is. So, I would start at 100 cents minus 75. 100 minus 50 will leave me with 50 minus 20 will leave me with 30 minus 5 will leave me with 25 so the other part of my number bond would be 25 cents I lean has 25 cents left. Number four. The puzzle Casey wants costs one dollar. She has six nickels, one dime, and 11 pennies. How much more money does she need to buy the puzzle? 
But to figure out how much money, more money she needs, I'm going to figure out how much money she has. She has six nickels, which will give me a total of 30 cents. One dime at 10 cents and 11 pennies, which is 11 cents. I'm going to add those together, 30 plus 10 plus 11. Decompose my 11 to make it easier. 30 plus 10 more is 40, plus 10 more is 50, plus 1 is 51 cents. So I know that she has 51 cents. How much more does she need to buy her puzzle for a dollar? Well, if the puzzle is totaled one dollar and she has 51 cents, we need to figure out how much more she needs. I'm going to subtract 100 cents minus 51 cents to figure that out. 100 minus 50 will leave me with 50 minus one more is 49. Casey will need 49 cents more. Number five, Garrett found 19 cents in the sofa and 34 cents under his bed. How much more money will he need to find to have one dollar? Well, let's figure out what Garrett found. He found 19 cents and he found 34 cents. Solve this one, I'm going to use the algorithm. 9 plus 4 gives me 13. Well, I have a 10 in 13, so I'm going to bundle a 10. And now I have one more 10 in the 10's place value. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So he has a total of 53 cents. Using a number bond, I know he wants a value of $1. I know that one part is 53 cents. I'm trying to figure out is how much more money he needs. So I'm going to subtract 100 cents minus 53 cents. 100 minus 50 leaves me with 50 minus 3 more leaves me with 47. Garrett will need 47 cents more. Number 6. Kelly has 38 fewer cents than Molly. Molly has $1. How much money does Kelly have? Well, I know that Molly has $1. And Carrie has 38 cents. Kelly has 38 cents fewer than Molly. So to figure out how much Kelly has, I'm going to subtract one dollar, which is 100 cents, minus 38 cents. 100 minus 30 will give me 70, minus 5 will give me 65, minus 3 will give me 62. So if Molly's other part is 62 cents, then Kelly has 62 cents. Mario has 41 cents, 41 more cents than Ryan. Mario, how much money does Ryan have? Again, if I know that Mario has a total of one dollar and he has 41 cents more 
then Ryan needs to figure out how much Ryan has. So to figure that out, I'm going to subtract 100 minus 41. 100 minus 40 leaves me with 60. Minus 1 leaves me with 59. Ryan has 59 cents. Number four. The puzzle Casey wants 